Hello everybody, this is Dino GTO, and today we're going to be looking at one of my replays in The Mighty Mouse. Uh, this replay, I should just uh, tell you immediately, uh, is from last week. Um, the reason I didn't show it off last week is because I was trying to sort some stuff out in regards to like my, um, just in general, my opinions of rank battles. And I'm just going to, I feel like now is a good time to tell you guys that uh, I am actually working on building a new PC. Um, so that should be happening relatively soon, hopefully. And I've actually just noticed this thing actually has like a second. I've never noticed this before. How have I never noticed this like a little thing here on the back? That's weird. Does that have anything like that in the front? Oh, it does. Huh. I really never noticed that. But then I guess previously, last time I was driving the model a lot, I guess it. I think it had like the either the the original HD model or the uh, SD model. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah. Um, I am building a new PC. Just to give you an idea of like um, what I've been using this entire time, I have an FX6350 um, processor, uh, AMD, and I have a GTX 660 I NVIDIA ASUS um, graphics card. So, uh, yeah, that just gives you an idea of just like, like that's a three and a half year old computer, I should just point out. And I'm, I'm being very, very careful with how abusive I am of it right now, like in terms of like the amount of rendering and stuff I do. Because I know it isn't, it, it, I know that uh, it is a relatively old computer, but that, uh, and I have actually, I, I know a guy who's going to actually buy it off of me. Um, he only, he doesn't, he's not a huge gamer, he just wants a computer to be able to play a couple of games that he likes. And uh, he's not a giant gamer, it's not going to be in constant use, so I'm just trying to make sure... I'm not too much of a dick with it until until um, until until I give it over to him. So yeah, that's the general plan of like what's happening. Um, I can't really say too much about what I'm upgrading to, but I'll just give you a rough idea. I am going to be hopefully going for a Ryzen. I haven't 100% decided, but I think the five may be my uh, the Ryzen five 1600X might be the one I go for. A uh, GTX 1060 graphics card with six gigabytes of uh, RAM. Uh, or 66 six, uh, gigabytes of uh, video memory. So that's the rough specifications of what I'm going for. So I'm still going to stick with 8 gigabytes of standard uh, RAM in my computer uh, because, well, uh, 8 gig, I think I said 8? Uh, yeah, 8 gigs of standard RAM because I don't feel like you need too much more than that these days yet. It's coming close to the time where we're going to need 16 gigs, but adding another stick of RAM is really, really easy. It's just you push it into the thing and it's done. But yeah, uh, I figured I would use this replay to talk about that there because. Honestly, I hadn't really mentioned it before this uh, because I was still trying to work out some of the details. But yeah, it looks like right now it is almost definitely going to happen. So yeah, in the next couple of weeks, uh, me uploading could be a bit more random than uh, usual. Like typically I try to go for four videos a week minimum. But uh, like this week I'm only going to have three. Right, and this one comes out when uh, I'm hoping it comes out. Uh, so yeah. I'm trying to be very, very careful with how abusive I am with this computer because I am planning to uh, sell it. So, yeah. Um, so, it could be a wee while before I get my new one, uh, before I get my new one set up and all. So, just get, basically give me some time over the next couple of weeks to make sure that I have everything in order before I actually fully. Where the hell did that shot go? What the hell? <laughs> that just completely disappeared. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Uh, hopefully I can get that sorted out sooner rather than later, and I'll have a new computer, so we'll have hopefully higher quality video with 60 FPS, hopefully. Probably going to start playing 1600 by 900 rather than 1366 by, um, 1366 by 763 or something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. Um, yeah, I'm currently playing laptop resolution, but there's actually a good reason why I do that. Um, if you look at these icons here, this here, and this here, if you change the the resolution on your game, these all get significantly smaller. And Wargaming doesn't do a good job with interface scaling, um, so there's not really much you can do to actually increase the size of the stuff. And for somebody who, uh, for somebody like me, um, I don't have the greatest eyesight in the world, and I prefer not to wear my glasses all the time because they get missed or nose. So I prefer to play on slightly lower resolution than most people would probably play on. Uh, but that's because, like, if you've ever seen it, somebody playing on 1920 by 1080, uh, that's the actual, like, uh, the team lists and the and this thing here, uh, the, like, module layout thing and uh, the map. The map, at least, you can make bigger, but the rest of the stuff you can't touch. So they get incredibly small and really, really difficult to read, so that's why I don't bother with high resolutions. And you don't really notice it in this game, honestly. Like, that's just something... Uh, 
I got personally kept an eye on, and yeah. So far I'm on 2800 damage. The master's armor is proving to be pretty formidable. Um, E100 is currently firing HE rounds at me, and something that you may find a bit interesting, I should just mention here. Um, the mouse, I currently run Rammer, Vents, and a Heavy Spall Liner. Why do I run a Heavy Spall Liner? Because I don't think the uh, Vertical Stabilizer is really the best option on this tank. I really don't think it's the best option because uh, the Heavy Spall Liner gives you so much protection versus artillery and people firing HE like that E100. Like, I discovered really, really quickly when I rebought the mouse that HE is ultra effective versus this thing. I was coming up against uh, E5s that were doing 200, uh, 200 damage per hit with HE, and I was just like, wait, 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 wait what? What? <laughs> I was just like, how is my armor not holding up versus the HE rounds? And as soon as I put the this heavy spall liner on, that was no longer an issue because they were doing like 50 damage a shot. <laughs> it was awesome. So, yeah, they're, the heavy spall liner drastically improves your survivability. Uh, versus HE range in particular, so that's pretty sweet. And go look for this last shot on the object 263. I just noticed I haven't didn't really focus too much on the actual gameplay because, well, a lot of it was just me driving around very, very slowly. But I did manage to hit 4,000 damage. It doesn't seem that impressive in the mouse because the mouse uh, has 3,200 health, and that's only like 600 or that's only like 700 more than your actual health pool. But I did block nearly 5,000 and add 4,000 assistance damage. So yeah, uh, it, it it feels pretty easy to play the mouse, not gonna lie. I feel like if I was to rebalance this thing, I think what I would do is I would leave I would leave the gun handling stuff the way it is, because I feel like it needs that there, because um, if you've never driven the mouse, it's top speed 20, and a lot of tanks at tier 10 can do that in reverse, so this thing's top speed going forward, this is I believe the slowest tier 10 in the game. Yeah, even the type 5 has like 25. Uh, kilometer an hour uh, forward speed, but yeah, I, I I think I'm right in saying this is the slowest tier 10 in the game. So, it needs the gun handling stats that it has now, because by the time it gets to the fight, like, the one of the main issues I had with this thing pre, um, pre-changes, pre uh, back in the day when I played it a lot, um, I, if you don't know, I played like 200 games in this thing prior to the... Um, Prior to the updates, like in fact, I actually sold it about a year before the updates actually took place to this tank. So, I sold this thing at about the same time I sold, I sold the one hundred. Actually, I sold this before I sold the one hundred. That's right. Uh, so this thing's about I haven't I haven't owned this thing previously for about a year and a half. So that just gives you an idea of just how big uh, of it, like I can feel a pretty significant difference between this thing prior to the buffs and. Uh, uh, post buffs, this thing feels like a, like it's actually competitive now. Um, I feel like they've done something to the lower plate. I don't know what it is, but I feel like the lower plate, even whenever you're looking at it like this, I feel like the lower plate is way stronger than it was before. I don't know what they've done, because it seems to be the same armor thickness, but it feels way more potent than it did before. It feels like it's actually more able to like um, bounce shots, and I actually didn't really show off the angling of this vehicle. This vehicle now, because they've removed the front drive wheel uh, weak point, which I don't think they should add that back, by the way, I should just make that clear right now. Do not add that weak point back to the tank. That made this tank absolutely fucking worthless previously. Like, you could honestly, like uh, an LTTB, just as an example, uh, tier 7, or, yeah, tier 7 night tank at the time, uh, could pin this thing here at this kind of angle, or uh, about this kind of angle, reliably through this area here, perma track you, and do damage with every shot. That's something that could happen often, and would happen a lot in this tank. Bear in mind, this tank is slow as shit. So tracking and doing damage isn't really something that I think it should really happen with this tank. Uh, I think it makes sense on stuff like E5s, stuff like stuff like IS7s, because those things are relatively mobile. Tanks like this which rely entirely on their armor and their health to survive uh, and don't really have mobility to fall back on. I do not think these things should be taking damage uh, from from tracking shots at the same time. But the one thing I will say that this thing should probably have changed, I think they should nerf the front turret armor. Um, I know that will bring back the days of like, oh yeah, people just need to press the turkey and even when you angle like this, they'll still be able to pin because... For some reason, this is only worth like 300 armor versus um, versus heat rounds because, well, they're heat rounds. And this area here is only worth like 320 armor. So, 
yeah, it's going to be a giant pain in the ass. But not being able to pen this thing frontally with uh, premium or with standard rounds from tier 10s is kind of bullshit. So I do have to say that they would probably need to fix that. If they're going to fix the front turret, I would say if they want to make it a bit more survivable versus heat rounds in general, I would say the one thing they should do, increase the side turret armor by maybe 15 millimeters. I think that would probably cover that would, that would probably cover it. So you could actually angle it a bit more, and you could get a bit more effectiveness out of the um, front turret and the side turret at the same time. So I feel like that's how I would generally fix this thing because right now it is definitely a bit overpowered in my opinion. Uh, it is slow as shit, so it's very difficult to actually take advantage of it being a bit overpowered. Um, but it's definitely overpowered uh, to an extent. I, I do think the gun handling needs to say pretty much as is. Um, the armor, uh, in regards to the tracks, maybe nerf the lower plate to what it was previously. Uh, the track armor, um, the track not being able to track and uh, do damage at the same time, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, leave that there in place. I don't want the days to return where all it took was a tier 8 medium or tier 7 like tank well, at the time. Um, could come around your side of you and perma-track you and do damage to every shot. Meanwhile, you're trying to traverse your turret and all they need to do is drive around like very, very slowly around because like, your, your, your turret just cannot keep up. Like This thing needs its hull traverse and its turret traverse to be able to keep up with anything because its turret traverse is so slow. So that needs to stay in place in my opinion. Maybe nerf the lower plate a wee bit. Nerf the front turret armor, buff the side turret armor. That would be how I would roughly fix this tank. Because um, you want to promote uh, the skill of angling the turret. You don't want to make people just kind of like... You you want to make the tank useless armor-wise again. That's just the way I view it. So, yeah. I, I feel like though those are about all the buffs or buffs and nerfs I would do to this vehicle. Just to make it a bit more balanced. So, yeah. Um, let's go on to the post-game stats. Okay, so we're on to the post-game stats. Uh, one thing I actually forgot to mention about this replay at the start is this was actually a ranked battle replay, but yeah. Um, so, according to this here, I made 60,000 credits, 1,155 uh, base XP. Don't think I fired a single premium round from what I can recall, at least. Uh, let's see. Uh, came top of the team. Um, I already said the XP number. 3,946 damage, 3 kills. So, I believe that's about 1,500 more. Or no, that's about, no, it's not 1,500 more. It's about... 800 more than the next person uh, in the game. So the Bacha 25T was the second highest damage, and bizarrely he came like fourth on the team. Hmm. I guess the other guys, oh yeah, he didn't get any kills, that's probably why. Uh, people say kills don't affect your XP, I believe they do. <laughs> I think they do, because kills seem to, they don't have like a massive effect on your XP, but they do definitely seem to have an effect. Like I've had games where I've done like four thousand damage, and then there's a guy, there's then there's a guy who's done three thousand damage but gotten three kills, and he's come higher than me on XP. I have seen that happen before, and neither of us got any assistance damage. So yeah, must have been the kills that pushed him over the edge. So yeah, um, and then when it came to shots fired, I fired twelve shots. Uh, I fired fourteen shots, twelve uh direct hits, and nine penetrations. I already said the damage number: five thousand blocked. Uh. But 4,000 assistance damage was actually pretty sweet, I actually, until I watched his back, I didn't actually realize what it was for. I think the majority of it was pretty much like either tracking damage or it was just a spotting damage. Um, didn't, use, didn't use a single uh, consumable in that game, but yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised by how much money I made in that game, but then again, this was a win. Uh, it's a different story if you lose. If you lose, you will lose money. Um, this was a win, and I didn't fire any premium rounds. I didn't take that much damage. That's why I actually made like 35k off that game. That's not something that will happen every time. I should just point that out. But yeah. Uh, so let me know your your opinions in the comment section below on my uh, ideas for changing the mouse up, and also like what you think of like what I'm going to do with my computer. Um, just in general things I got there. I think uh, most of the components I'm pretty sure about, like the 1060. Uh, I'm not going. Uh, my original plan was to go for a 980, but the problem with the 980, 980 is still like a hundred pound more than a 1060. I'm just like, why is it still so expensive? It's the previous generation, but uh, and I the, the reason the original reason I wasn't actually too fond of going for like a 1060 or 10 like the the thousand series uh, of graphics card was because I heard they were optimized for VR, not actual, just like not just um not just flat gameplay. 
Uh, so I was kind of put off them by that there, but then I did a bit of research into it. No, the uh, the 1060 is definitely the better value for money these days. Uh, the GTX 980 just doesn't really have that much on top of it, if that makes sense. Like uh, the 1060 has more uh, has more video RAM. It has it has a uh, what was the other thing? It uses less parts it's, it, in general, and it's like a hundred pound cheaper or something like that. There, it's a ridiculous amount cheaper, if you, and you get pretty much exactly the same results. So yeah, um, so yeah, let, let me know your opinions on like what the computer I'm roughly gonna be building, like the Ryzen five sixteen hundred X processor. I was already mentioned the uh, the GPU, and yeah, let, let me know your general opinions on, on the mouse and that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I have to say. So. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.